The First World War, which lasted from 1914 to 1918, caused instability in Europe, prepared the continent for World War II, which came out two decades later and was far more destructive. Adolf Hitler, the head of the Nazi party, came to power in a politically and economically unsteady Germany. To further his goals of world dominance, he rearmed the country and negotiated strategic agreements with Italy and Japan. Once Hitler invaded Poland in September 1939, France and Great Britain decided to declare war on Germany, starting World War II. More lives would be lost and more land and property would be destroyed during the following six years of fighting than during any other war in history. Six million Jews were exterminated in Nazi concentration camps as part of Hitler's evil, final solution, commonly known as the Holocaust, among the estimated 45-60 million deaths. Leading up to World War II, the destruction of World War I, sometimes known as the Great War, had significantly destabilized Europe, and in many ways, the problems left unsolved by that previous war led to World War II. Adolf Hitler and the National Socialist German Workers' Party, also known as the Nazi Party in English and the NSDAP in German, rose to power in part due to political and economic unrest in Germany and persistent discontent over the severe conditions imposed by the Versailles Treaty. Did you even know, Adolf Hitler predicted a widespread European war that would result in the extinction of the Jewish race in Germany, as early as 1923 in his memoir and propaganda tract, Mein Kampf, My Struggle. Hitler quickly solidified power after assuming the position of German Chancellor in 1933, becoming Führer, Supreme Leader, in 1934. Hitler, who was obsessed with the superiority of the pure German race, which he referred to as Aryan, believed that war was the only way to achieve the necessary Lebensraum, living space, for the expansion of the German race. Midway through the 1930s, Hitler launched the clandestine rearmament of Germany, in defiance of the Treaty of Versailles. After forming coalitions with Italy and Japan against the Soviet Union, Hitler occupied Austria in 1938 and Czechoslovakia the following year. The United States and Soviet Union were focused on internal politics at the time, and neither France nor Britain, the two nations most ravaged by World War I, were eager for confrontation. Outbreak of World War II, 1939. Hitler and Soviet leader Joseph Stalin signed the German-Soviet non-aggression agreement at the end of August 1939, causing panic in London and Paris. Hitler had long contemplated an invasion of Poland, a nation to which Great Britain and France had pledged military support in the event of an attack by Germany. The agreement with Stalin ensured that Hitler would not encounter a war on two fronts once he invaded Poland, and that he would get Soviet assistance in splitting the nation. Hitler invaded Poland from the west on September 1, 1939. Two days later, France and Britain declared war on Germany, initiating World War II. The Soviet Union invaded Poland from the east on September 17. In early 1940, according to a secret document appended to the Non-Aggression Pact, Germany and the Soviet Union had shared sovereignty over Poland, which had fallen fast under attack from both sides. Then, Stalin's army occupied the Baltic states, Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania, and defeated Finland in the Russo-Finnish War. During the six months following the invasion of Poland, the lack of action on the part of Germany and its Western allies prompted the media to refer to a fake war. At sea, however, the British and German navies engaged in a fierce struggle, and German U-boat submarines sank more than 100 merchant ships destined for Britain in the first four months of World War II. World War II in the West, 1940-1941. On April 9, 1940, Germany invaded Norway and occupied Denmark at the same time, and the war officially began. On May 10, German forces launched a blitzkrieg, or lightning war, across Belgium and the Netherlands. Three days later, Hitler's troops crossed the Meuse River and attacked French forces at Sedan, which was located at the northern end of the Maginot Line, an elaborate network of fortifications built after World War I and regarded as an impenetrable defensive barrier. In fact, the Germans broke through the line with their tanks and planes and continued to the rear, rendering it useless. In late May, the British Expeditionary Force, BEF, was evacuated by sea from Dunkirk, while French forces in the south mounted a doomed resistance. With France on the verge of collapse, Italy's fascist dictator Benito Mussolini formed the Pact of Steel with Hitler, and on June 10, Italy declared war on France and Britain. German forces occupied Paris on June 14. Two nights later, an armistice proposal was made by the new administration led by Marshal Philippe Pétain, the World War I hero of France. Following this, France was split into two regions, 
one under German military control and the other under Pétain's administration, which was established at Vichy France. In order to provide himself a defensive advantage, Hitler now focused on Britain, which was geographically isolated from the continent by the English Channel. German aircraft heavily bombed Britain from September 1940 to May 1941, a period known as the Blitz, including night raids on London and other industrial centres that resulted in significant civilian casualties and property damage. This bombardment was done to prepare for an amphibious invasion known as Operation Sea Lion. Hitler delayed his invasion preparations when the Royal Air Force, RAF, eventually beat the Luftwaffe, German Air Force, in the Battle of Britain. Prime Minister Winston Churchill started receiving essential assistance from the US via the Lend-Lease Act, which Congress ratified in early 1941, as Britain's defense resources reached their maximum capacity. Hitler vs. Stalin, Operation Barbarossa, 1941-1942. Early in 1941, Hungary, Romania, and Bulgaria joined the Axis, and in April of that year, German forces occupied Yugoslavia and Greece. Hitler's conquest of the Balkans served as a prelude to his true goal, an invasion of the Soviet Union, whose vast territory would provide the Lebensraum required by the German master race. Hitler's plan also included eradicating all Jews from the regions of Europe that Germany had seized. Around the time of the Soviet advance, plans for the final solution were unveiled, and over the course of the following three years, more than four million Jews would perish in the death camps established in occupied Poland. Hitler gave the command for Operation Barbarossa, the invasion of the Soviet Union, on June 22, 1941. Despite having a vastly greater number of tanks and planes than the Germans, Russian aviation technology was mainly outdated, and the impact of the surprise invasion enabled the Germans to be within 200 miles of Moscow by the middle of July. The next German push was delayed due to disagreements between Hitler and his commanders until October, when it was halted by a Soviet counteroffensive and the arrival of severe winter weather. World War II in the Pacific, 1941-1943. The only country able to stop Japanese aggression, which by late 1941 encompassed an expansion of its continuing conflict with China and the acquisition of European colonial holdings in the Far East, was the United States, with Britain confronting Germany and Europe. More than 2,300 American soldiers lost their lives when 360 Japanese aircraft attacked Pearl Harbor, the main U.S. naval base in Hawaii, on December 7, 1941. The attack completely caught the Americans off guard. The Pearl Harbor attack helped to unite public opinion in the United States in support of joining World War II, and on December 8, Congress declared war on Japan with just one vote against it. The Axis powers quickly declared war on the United States, led by Germany. The U.S. Pacific Fleet won the Battle of Midway in June 1942, which proved to be a turning point in the war after a succession of Japanese wins. From August 1942 until February 1943, the Allies successfully fought off Japanese forces on Guadalcanal, one of the southern Solomon Islands, turning the tide in the Pacific. A series of amphibious assaults on significant Japanese-held islands in the Pacific were part of the Allied naval forces' aggressive counterattack against Japan that started in the middle of 1943. The success of this, island-hopping, tactic brought the Allied forces one step closer to their eventual objective of conquering mainland Japan. Toward Allied victory in World War II, 1943-1945. By 1943, the Italians and Germans had been routed in North Africa by British and American forces. Mussolini's administration was overthrown in July 1943 as a result of the Allied invasion of Sicily and Italy, however fighting between the Allies and the Germans in Italy persisted until 1945. A Soviet counteroffensive begun in November 1942 on the Eastern Front put an end to the terrible Battle of Stalingrad, which saw some of the most intense fighting of World War II. The last German forces there surrendered on January 31, 1943, as a result of the approaching winters and diminishing food and medical supplies. The Allies launched a huge invasion of Europe on June 6, 1944, known as D-Day, and 156,000 British, Canadian, and American forces were deployed on the beaches of Normandy, France. Hitler's response was to send all of his army's remaining power into Western Europe, assuring Germany's loss east. When Hitler prepared his forces to push the Americans and British back from Germany in the Battle of the Bulge, December 1944 January 1945, the last significant German offensive of the war, Soviet troops quickly marched into Poland, Czechoslovakia, Hungary, and Romania. Prior to the Allied land invasion of Germany in February 1945, the country was subjected to a heavy aerial bombardment.
By the time Germany formally capitulated on May 8, Soviet forces had taken control of most of it. Hitler was already dead, having died by suicide on April 30 in his Berlin bunker. World War II ends, 1945. Churchill, Stalin, and U.S. President Harry S. Truman discussed the ongoing war with Japan as well as the peace treaty with Germany at the Potsdam Conference in July-August 1945. Truman had taken office after Roosevelt's death in April. The Soviet Union, Britain, the United States, and France would each oversee one of four post-war occupation zones in Germany. Churchill and Truman agreed with Stalin on the contentious topic of Eastern Europe's future because they required Soviet assistance in the battle against Japan. World War II casualties and legacy. With 60 to 80 million fatalities, including 6 million Jews who perished in the Holocaust at the hands of the Nazis, World War II turned out to be the worst international conflict in history. 50 minus 55 million people are estimated to have died from the war as civilians, compared to 21 minus 25 million who died as troops. Millions more suffered injuries, and still more people lost their homes and possessions. As a result of the war, Communism would eventually succeed in China and spread from the Soviet Union into Eastern Europe. Moreover, the world's power would move from Europe to two opposing superpowers, the United States and the Soviet Union, who would soon engage in a Cold War conflict.